This video series is to share some ideas and lessons learned on creating a course in the learning management system Brightspace. I undertook the master course Migration from Blackboard, the previous learning management system, into Brightspace during the summer of 2018. I was a power user in Blackboard, and I wanted to achieve that same level of performance in Brightspace. I encountered two big challenges on the way. The first was that I was learning about Brightspace at the same time as our IT folks and the early adopters prior to its launch at my college. So I had to figure out much of the functionality through trial and error or on a collaborative basis with other early adopters. The other challenge was that my college had a unique distribution of Brightspace, and so the solutions in the online forums did not apply. In short, this is a good opportunity to share some of the lessons learned the hard way. This video includes information about the planning process for the course. Although I was tasked with course migration, the project was rather to recreate the course from scratch within the Brightspace environment. When I saw the result of a course import, it seemed as though it did not fully achieve the potential of Brightspace. For example, here we see that the weekly learning materials were imported as submodules. The icons don't take full advantage of Brightspace's capacity for visuals. And there appears to be formatting issues when the content is pulled in. Recreating the course from scratch was the best way to make use of the new functions Brightspace had to offer. The starting point for recreating the course was to write up a storyboard. This was basically a plan in memo format. The extra step of the storyboard was helpful to better understand conceptually how Brightspace was intended to be used. In Blackboard, content is organized in folders and students retrieve that information from those folders. Uh, on the other hand, going through Brightspace modules is like sequentially flipping through the glossy pages of a magazine. Learning and Teaching Services pointed this out at one of the early adopter training sessions, and it really helped me to understand how course content should be designed for Brightspace. The other advantage of the storyboard is that it provides an opportunity for input from stakeholders, achieving consensus prior to investing much time in recreating an entire course. Uh, helps to ensure that work is not duplicated in the long run. Further, it is an opportunity to manage expectations of stakeholders around the upcoming changes. Uh, in my case, I was fortunate that the storyboard was planned out thoughtfully enough that it uh, could be implemented as is. Looking back, all course content was developed as described in the storyboard. Uh, further, the 2018 master course was redeployed in uh, 2019 with updates limited to page reference changes.